Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Arctic Fury's Weeping Spruce Golf Club. Now this course was sponsored by 2K, so really looking forward to this one. Actually not covered an Arctic Fury course in a long time. So let's get right into this and have a look at the course settings. The fairways are normal, the greens are firm, the green speed is medium fast, time of day is afternoon and the weather is overcast. Let's have a look at the tee options. We do have three tee options. We're going to be playing from the black tees, which are playing 7,307 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, like I said earlier, it has been an age since I've covered an Arctic Fury golf course on the channel. You just released this earlier. It'll probably be tomorrow, which will be Thursday by the time I do upload this. But I do hope you fantastic viewers and subscribers had a wonderful new year. Now look at this for an opening tee shot, guys. Lots of elevation change. You can comfortably lay up with a three wood, but we are going to shape the driver and try and thread the eye of the needle here between the two bunkers. Five mile per hour wind should hold us out to the right hand side as well. So it's a fantastic open and strike on master swing difficulty. And look at the view off there in the distance. I think this means we should comfortably reach this par five. We're about 205 two shots. yards out from here. Three hybrid should be made for this shot. It is a very narrow green. It's like an island green surrounded by a water moat. But I'm just going to try and find the right hand side of the flag stick here. It's a tiny slope. That is going to take me more right of my intended target. And the ball took a really firm kick forward and over to the left hand side there and with that we do not find the green but this is going to be a delicate downhill chip shot if we do get this online it does have a chance of dropping for an eagle just from the green fringe just applied full backspin to this chip shot just going to play the partial here we do get it perfect we never had that online it was never going to trouble the cup five feet to the that's left here. us a straightforward putt from five feet which we do convert and we kick things off here at Weeping Spruce Golf Starting Club with a birdie. Par, that is all so I hole number two is a par three, slightly downhill. Here on hole number two. Look at that tree line off there in the distance. Arctic Fury really knows how to create a majestical golfing environment. There is a helping backstop here, so we're just going to play slightly de-lofted seven iron. I have applied a little bit of top spin. We do get the perfect. Pulled my swing line there over to the left hand side. We're comfortably going to find the backstop. That should come back down and hopefully set up another good birdie opportunity. But like I say, no one designs a course, a plot, and creates the environment that Arctic Fury is capable of doing. It really is second to none. So this putt should turn from left to right. Just need to get the weight right here. Let's We've got the weight, have we got the read? We do have nice the read. Like the way and we do pick up our second, second birdie of the round. Of and with back to back birdies, we are two under one. par. So, hole number three. It's going to be a common theme here. The majority of tee shots that we have, well, every single tee shot that we have uh, played so far, the tee box has been elevated with a fairway or green oh, down below us. Struck. So, three weed off the tee here. I have pulled off a tiny grey fast, but that is going to comfortably find the fairway. Good decision to lay up with the three wood there. Second Don't think we could have hit the third. driver there. And that is going to leave us 99 yards up 17 feet. I think my Sam wedge with full backspin should be good here. Certainly don't want to find that slope defending the right hand side of the green. The ball will kick heavily over to the left hand side with pace. We do get the perfect. It should land short oh, yeah. of the pin the and hopefully sit down. Oh, get in the hole. I didn't allow for that kick there. I thought we would have landed shot. neither was, the pin, but it's worked out really well. And nice it is going to be our third birdie. consecutive birdie okay. off that the round. Done. And we are three under through He's three holes. So, three so far, it's been Let's a perfect start. Hole, hole number four, four, you do have options here. Once again, tee box is elevated. Got no idea why you would try and take the right hand side of that fairway on. I'm not seeing any advantage whatsoever. So we are going to lay up 
to the left hand side of the bunker here. It's quite a wide fairway to find here. Ball should stick in play with the contours on this fairway. Yeah, this ball should sure comfortably kick left. We did execute a tiny slow there. There's that kick left and that is going to leave me an uphill approach shot into, into this into fourth green. green. I'm just going to apply a little bit of deal off to the six iron. Anything to the right hand side of the green should leave me a makeable putt. We do get the perfect. There's that pull right, left once up. again. Swing line's not the greatest so far today. Surely that ball sits down. We are going to be pin high almost. Okay, Very good approach shot. Good luck, green speeds are 164. Feet. This ball is going to break hard left at my feet. And then hopefully um, straighten out and hold its line. Oh, I've really under hit that. Did not have the line either. That has a poor putt. Poor attempt one. for the birdie there. And we and do tap that in for the first par. Off the round, and with that, we do remain at three and under. Leave you at three now, under hole number five. Oh, did you see that little rock the waterfall there? That is absolutely stunning. That really is eye catching. What a beautiful feature here on the fifth hole. Once again, we do have options off the tee box here. We can lay up with a three wood, which I think we may have to do. Driver won't get us to the other side of this fairway and it will leave us a longer shot in. So definitely going to be taking on this island fairway. Need to get a perfect here as close to it. Water is in play on the left hand side. It's a baby slow, far it's superior swing light and that is going to find the centre of this island fairway. That should be nothing more than a wedge we're into this fifth green. It's another elevated green. I'm just going to apply a little bit of D-loft and a tiny bit of topspin and hopefully land this a couple of yards short of the pin and get a firm run out here. Oh, it's a tiny slow and with that, that is going to come up short. I really needed the perfect there. That may actually come off the green. It has done. Oh, you didn't hit this one, but really okay. needed to pull off the perfect to up here get now. that ball We're on track. But it is a fairly good chipping opportunity here. 13 yards out, up two feet, just applying full topspin with a sand wedge here. And see if we can get this running up towards the pin. That slight slow, which wouldn't really have affected it, but we have came up par. seven feet short. I didn't expect to come up as short as that. This is a missable putt. Good. It should turn, it does turn, job, and we will walk with away par. with the par. So after a really good we'll birdie so start, keep you at three under it's been back-to-back -back pars, and we will and remain at three under. Oh, is this a drivable par four? It is. Oh, I'm going to be really in between clubs here. Not sure if that's a, a hockey or golf arena advertised off there in the distance. But I'm going to have to really deal off driver here. Shape it from left to right. Bunker to the left-hand side of the green is not the worst option here. And a little bit of, uh, we get the perfect. There's that pool left once again. That is definitely going to kick in to the sand. But as you can see, Arctic Fury, right, lot of strategy in his bunker, courses. Plenty of risk-reward golf holes as well. I'm just going to try and land this on the fairway. We are going to apply a good bit of backspin. And chip this out the bunker. And let's see if we can get this running down towards the pin. Good execution. Oh, why that ball is not going to stop anytime soon. I'm actually quite surprised at that. That came out the, the sand trap far better than advertised. Despite applying a good bit of backspin, it wasn't enough. And this is now a lengthy putt for birdie. We really have made... A mess at this drivable par four. It's a good putt. Has it got the legs? It's got the line, by the way. Have we hit it? Oh, it's just came up short. That's frustrating. And that is a poor par there. Should have walked away with birdie on that hole. Maybe laying up and leaving yourself the pitch is the better option here. But we will move on to hole number seven. It's a downhill par five. 
Once again, you can comfortably lay up with three weed. We're going to shape this from left to right. Just apply a little bit of fade. Try and find the left center of the fairway. It's a baby fast. It should be okay, though. Hopefully this one's nice and safe from the fairway. But the views in this golf course are nothing short of spectacular, guys. And it really has been a yeah, common theme where every tee shot, the fairway or green has been way below our feet. I'm really in between clubs here, just going to shape five wood against the slope and see if we can find the right hand side of the, the flag stick. We get the perfect, that needs to get dying, it's going to be long. I don't think this is going to hold the dance floor. I maybe could have hit three hybrid there, you know. That ball has trickled off, oh wow, oh that's that guy, really yeah. punishing. Okay, I don't think down. we deserve that at all. That is really harsh sculpting round about this green. And we are going to have to try and splash this one close. Full law, full backspin. And we're just going to go for the partial here with the gap wedge and try and splash this one close. We do get the partial. Tiny fast, but that should check up. Oh, it's reluctantly checking up. In fact, it's not. Okay, so wow, really surprised that didn't check up there. And this is now a very tricky putt for Birdie. I have made another mess of this hole. The last two holes should have been birdies. This is now a tough, tough putt. Is it going to turn? Is it going to turn? Oh, it does turn. And that is one of the better putts I have pulled off in the last few rounds and with that we do get to four under par. But once again, look at this environment guys. The rock work is unbelievable. I've got no idea how he's managed to execute this. And this course really is a work of art. An absolute masterpiece. So I'm just going to try and shape three hybrids here. I'm going to try and find the left hand side of the pin. Run it up the slope and hopefully towards the flag stick. But that is easier said than done on the master swing difficulty. Tiny slow so we're not going to be left of the pin now. But we are going to be up at the top part of the green where the pin is located. Nice. And it has left me a go. 12 foot putt. Not a lot of movement in it, to be fair. Let's see if we can get this one on line. One. It looks good. Is it going to hold? Yeah, it just held its line uh, there. When I lost the ball over my shoulder, so I wasn't today. sure if it was going to drop or just miss left edge. But it is another birdie. And we do Two find ourselves at five hole. under number par. Nine. So hole number nine. Another downhill par four. I'm just going to try and keep this ball down the left-hand side off the fairway. There is a perfect. It's another pull left. This ball should kick right, I do believe. But I love the vegetation overlapping the bunker there. What a fantastic look. That fairway actually Quite kicked left. Green, uh, so, keep that one in so 171 yards, up 22 feet. I'm just going to try and play the slope here. It's defending the green. Just applying a good bit of backspin. Turning this against the wind. And let's see if we can use that helping slope to find the the pin here. It's on track. It's a beautiful strike. This should check up with the amount of backspin we have applied and that is a fantastic golf shot. Yeah, we have been rewarded with a 10 foot putt, at albeit -foot putt there is a fair amount of movement from left to right here. But what a fantastic shot in. Let's see if we can drop this for another birdie. That needs to oh, turn. There. Oh, early. It's another poor putt. That should have been at least nice. a 6-7 under par front nine there. Right now, Bad a few errors. It up now on the let's 10. move on to hole number 10 at 5 under par. Oh, with that downhill elevation, we can comfortably carry the, the hazards on the right-hand side here. But once again, that rock work just catching your eye. It really is fantastic. I really have no idea how he's managed to pull that look off. It's a very unique look. That ball did kick hard Not left playing. there, but we are in play. Okay, we're about two. We are going to be able to comfortably pin. reach this green in two. Slope is really going to move us from left to right. The wind should hopefully bring us back here as well. Baby fast. Oh, that ball did not shoot right at my feet at all. That slope did not move me one inch to the right hand side, and with that. We have found the bunker, and I think this is going to be a difficult shot. 
Right, I am going to pitch this and I'm going to use the bank at the other side of the bunker here. Just going to land this short, full backspin and hopefully it trickles through the rough here and onto the green. Delicate touch required, but try to be creative here. Otherwise we're getting nowhere near this pin. It needs to check up. Oh, it does check up on what a golf shot that is. Not much work left for us Using the environment to my uh, advantage there. Stand. And we do roll in Great the six birdie the off the round, and with that we are six under par. So and no idea what to expect on the moment. next hole here. It Let's really is an exciting golf course. Wow, I certainly cannot get there in two with this wind. So it's going to be a forced layup. I like the look of the left hand side here. We're just going to shape five with a tiny bit of fade here, shaping us from left to right. There's a perfect, but another horrible pull left. I've really got to work on that. I've got no idea where that has come from. But that has worked out really well. And I think that's going to be nothing more than a pitch and a full wedge. Second shot here on the 11th. Into this green. Certainly not pitching it from that distance. You would never see a PGA Tour Pro pitching 108 yards. But we do have a sandwich. I think we can get a generous kick off the bank here. So just going to apply full backspin. Slow put our feet is going to take us right. Let's see if we can get a favourable kick from the front of the green. We do get the perfect. That ball needs to keep going. Are we going to kick out here? Oh, it's just checked up in the light rough. Heavy rough, actually. Really disappointed with that. I really expected that to, to be another creative shot. I don't feel the slope move me as much to the right. As it suggested. So a delicate chip shot here. Don't want to go too far past the pin. That's not got the legs to get there. Nor the line. But I was fearful nice of going past Just the flag nice stick and down that slope. Well but we do convert the par putt. And, and with that we are going to down. remain at 6 under par. This hole's a par four. Hole number 12. Look at that waterfall off there in the distance. I'm going to try and find the right hand side of the fairway here. Once again just applying a little bit of shape. On the driver. Tiny slow, but that is going to help me out here. This ball should kick right and hopefully onto a flat area off the fairway. But I'm going to say it again, guys. The look at this course is absolutely exceptional. Nice it really is a work of art. For me, it's a little bit on the easier side. Um, but I think the majority of Arctic Fury golf courses are. I think he tries and caters for every um, level of player. I'm just going to try and land this to the right-hand side of the green and find that slope. Oh, not with that fast, I'm not. Left. That is left. going to come up short left now. Just try to find the, the front right side of the, the green there. The green. And let that ball kick over, as you're seeing there, towards the pin. But let's see if we can chip this one in. Not a lot of movement on the green. Just applied a little bit of topspin. Let's see if we can pull off the perfect here. We've got the perfect. Has it got the legs? It needs to keep turning. It does have the legs, and what a chip in that is. Oh, and we do pick up birdie number seven. Guys do it out there and that really is a fantastic like golf shot just there a, a to, to pick up the birdie after just coming up short of the green. But I am really seven enjoying this course, guys. Like I said, it's been a while since I've covered any of Arctic Fury's golf courses. Normally, when he releases a course, every YouTube creator, or Twitch creator out right there, um, our Twitch streamer, should I say, is uploading or covering this. Well, let's see if we can find the backstop here once again in this par 3. It's another slight pull. But this should have the legs to get all the way up this slope and then it should trickle back down towards the pin. There we go, we've reached the slope. Is it going to come back down? But what I've kind of noticed, and please correct me if I'm wrong, the par 4s and 5s are all oh, downhill tee shots. The par threes yeah, seem to be good. elevated greens. And it really is a nice mixture, which offers really good variety out here in the course. So this is a delicate downhill putt. This ball's really going to turn from left to right. Is it going to turn? It it's does turn. It out there. And that is a really good putt. Day. And with well, that, we do move to eight and after that under one, par. Eight under. So hole number yeah, 14. Hole four. It's another downhill tee shot, but we can comfortably carry this burn here. I'm just going to try and pull off a tiny fast here. The wind is going to move us over to the right-hand side. There's a baby fast. That should comfortably carry the creek. But what's concerning me about my swing line here is I'm pulling too many shots left. 
This one's about 105 yards out. I really need to try and fix that. Now I'm really in between clubs here. Can we go full Sam Wedge? But with that 8 mile per hour winds, if I hang this ball up there, it's just going to carry. I'm going to have to try and play a partial pitch here with a 9 iron. But that pin is so well defended with a slope here. I'm going to actually have to go long with the 8 iron. I'm just going to apply a good bit of law, full backspin, and try and get the partial here, but I'm not the best um, players when it comes to partial. Got the partial, but it's a red slow. It may kick on to the green, but it's going to leave me a lot of work. I probably should have just went with a full um, wedge, 101, with full loft and full backspin. But I've left myself a lot of work to do here. 54 feet, 2 feet up. Ball's breaking both ways, but it's definitely going to turn more from left to right. Just going to try and lag this up there. And hopefully walk away with a par. Weight's good. Get there. Has it got the line? I think that I actually had the line. Just didn't have the weight. But we do Down drop that goes. in for our par. We will remain at eight under par with four holes left Load of this masterpiece left to play. So hole number 15 is a par five. Oh, it's a huge dog leg left. We can be aggressive here because that fairway is going to take us all the way down. So just shaping this from right to left, hopefully around the tree. Let's see if we can get a good setup here. Not with that red fast though. Oh dear, early. Oh wow, that's actually hit the tree. Oh, we have really been stitched up there, but that's when you get, when you pull off a red fast. It's a really short par five as well, which you should be there in two if you find the fairway. Just going to hack this out here. That should leave us nothing more than a, a splash or a pitch shot. It's certainly not going to kick onto the green due to the, the elements of the fairway here. But it is going to be a splash shot from 24 yards out. We do have a shot made for this. Just going to go full backspin here and see if we can get this online. It may run into the hole if we give it a chance. It's a baby slope. It should sit down instantly, which it has. And we are going to pick up our ninth birdie off the round. And I think you can see how easy this golf course is, guys. I think on pro settings in these conditions, I would be close to a 16, 17, 18 under round. But oh my goodness, look at this for a hole. Wow. Look at that for a vision, guys. That is unbelievable. That is a thumbnail right there. That is probably one of the best looking holes I have seen in a long, long time. So gap wedge, full backspin, allow the wind to move us from left to right. This should be good. There is a backstop if we are slightly long, which I think we may well be, but this ball should spin back, hopefully into the cup if we play it well. Great we do get the perfect, but look at that, guys. That really is a work of art. Arctic Fury really needs to change his name to Picasso. Is this going to spin? It's got a chance of going in the hole. We just miss out on the ace. And we are going to have a tap in birdie. Get in the hole. What? But what an artist this man is when it comes to golf courses. It is unbelievable. So 10 under par. We should be a few shots better off here. Let's see what you got here. But I did say it a good few holes ago that I think one of the things my critiques when it comes to an Arctic Fury golf course, if there is such a thing, it is that his courses do tend to play on the easier side. That's a fast. We are going to come up way short to the left-hand side here. And I've left myself a lot of work to do to get on this green. It's going to be a long shot in now. Let's check our distance twice as we set so up 214 yards, here. down 44 feet. Three hybrid should be made for this. The wind is going to slightly move me over to the left-hand side. It is a perfect. Ball needs to get down. It's traveling well. It's going to be a little bit long, actually. I don't even think this is going to hold the green. It's probably going to run out for a chip shot. I was sure the, the hybrid was the right club there. But let's see if we can chip this one in from nine yards out. Just applying full backspin here. The ball will have turned from right to left the last few feet. Oh, 
Oh, that's a slow yardage was going to be bang on to. If we got the perfect, that would have uh, trickled Wait, into the cup close, for the birdie. Down. But we do drop that All in right, for the par, and forward. we will move on to the final hole of Weeping okay, Spruce Golf Club, which was sponsored okay, by 2K. It's a glorious one. par 4. Can we drive this, though? I don't think we can. It is down 130 feet, but there's no way we can carry those hazards. So I'm just going to lay up with the five woods here and hopefully leave myself a mid-iron into the green. We do get the perfect. It's another uh, swing which we have pulled left. This should hopefully find the slope. Oh, no, this is not going to get down there. And that is going to be an awful lie at my feet. Would you believe it? Second shot on the 18th. So 67 feet below us. Oh, this is a tough shot. This is going to require bravery. Five wood's going to be too long. Three hybrid should just about get there. Anything left and the ball disappears. Anything right and we don't hit it well. We are going to be OB, I would imagine. Or in the heavy stuff. So just allowing for the, the slope at my feet and the wind. And let's see if we can land this on the dance floor short of the pin and get it running up. It's a good strike. We've hit it well. Come on, Bob. This should right. kick slightly to the right hand side as soon as it as soon as soon as it lands. Sounded like uh, Sean Connery there. But that's a that's fantastic nice golf thing. shot. Okay, this one's risk reward hole at its finest there. We really have been rewarded with a fairly flat putt from 19 feet out. I would love to drain this for a birdie and finish at 11 under par. Really it's tracking well. It and just about drops on the left hand side and that is going to be a 61 11 under par. But that is it for today's video guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, get out there, play this course. And until the next video, take care, peace out and love you all. Bye.